just letting you guys know you can listen to my no bleeps podcast anywhere you stream podcasts or on my no bleeps youtube channel link in the description Hey guys, it's Spilly and welcome back to Spill Sush. Today we're talking about Gabby DiMartino and this is going to be quite a difficult video to really navigate you guys through because this drama is very, very intense with her and there's going to be a lot of censoring. I think I'm going to do a podcast episode so you guys can understand the full scope uncensored of what is going on, but I basically want to break down what is going on and what she has said in regards to this situation. So Gabby has an OnlyFans and on this OnlyFans you can pay $9.99 to join and then you can see the content. Now there is content on here that you have to pay to see and then on OnlyFans people can message you if you're a member and basically ask you if you want to buy like a photo or a video and you can pay money in order to unlock it and see what they have sent you. In this situation, I'm going to basically tell you guys that I don't think that Gabby knew how bad that this really could be, but she knew what she was doing because she did admit that she was trolling and that this was wrong. She did admit that. So let's start it off with that really quickly, that she knew what she was doing. I just don't know how she didn't know how bad it was, how serious it was, but I just don't think that she was really thinking when she sent this out that this is pretty much what some are saying illegal. So on our OnlyFans, she sent out a blast mass message to I'm sure all of the members that pay for her membership on OnlyFans. And it was a 35 second video and you have to pay to unlock it. It was $3. And the message that she sent along with it says, won't put my panties on with a little emoji. And I mean, we're on OnlyFans and her OnlyFans is not PG. You have to be 18 and older to view it. I mean, it's not like she's posting baking cookies on here. She's posting really, you know, attractive photos on here of herself. So when you look at this message, you're not expecting to get what is behind this. And like I said, she admitted she was trolling and that what she did was wrong. So I started to get DMs because people that, you know, bought this $3, 35 second video were stunned and disturbed to find that this video was a video of her as a toddler and in the video she's wearing a dress and she like pulls up the dress and it is disturbing. I have personally not seen the video because after being made aware of the situation I was definitely not about to go and check it out that's for sure. That is absolutely sickening but a lot of people were messaging me about it super alarmed with what they had seen and then she later on confirmed like what was the visual like it's it's not what people thought they were gonna get and so people were you know going to twitter and they were like this is really gross that you would do this and this is inappropriate this is what people are saying is child uh, can't say the word and in fact if you look up the definition of what child is what she had people purchase can fall under that category because she like pulls up her dress the presentation of the video was in a manner that was bad that's pretty much all i can say so people were very upset and people were really disturbed and disgusted they didn't know why she would do this because you know you can't have this kind of content on your computer if people found that they had this insinuated content on their computer that's just something that I don't think that she was even thinking about. I don't think she was thinking about the repercussions, what people would think. It's definitely upsetting that she made people pay for this. Like this wasn't some funny TBT she was posting on Instagram or on Twitter. Like if she thought this was a cute little home video that she wanted to share and thought it was appropriate, she definitely would have posted it on Twitter or Instagram and not had people pay for it with this insinuated little caption message bubble beforehand. Like it was very deliberate, the intention of tricking people and then them seeing her as a child. Like it's just so wrong. She did tell me in the dms that she was going to be giving refunds to everyone i mean i just don't think that this is like the biggest issue here it's really just like the whole thing like, she was clearly insinuating that this was about to be a you know video that was going to probably show some stuff and i don't think anyone in their right mind was intending on seeing a video of her as a child 
Before this was all confirmed, I was a little unsure because this sounded very intense. It just sounded like, why would you do that? Why would you send around a, a video of you as a child doing that and with this message attached to it? Just why would you do that? So I tweeted at her and I said, um, Gabby Cake, you better make a statement ASAP about this OnlyFans. You better not be trolling with kid pics and thinking that's okay. So she ended up quote tweeting this and she said, a childhood video of me on the phone saying, Nani says, put your panties back on and jumping up and down laughing. I'm sorry I didn't think that one through, period. A home video I love to share with my friends and I use my OnlyFans as a Finsta page where I share stuff as I would with friends. And she continues in another tweet saying, the video was a goofy throwback family moment that I wanted to share with my personal OnlyFans fancy babes. I'm sorry that this wasn't thought out completely. I apologize, the video is down now. I'm sorry again if this came out wrong. Now, this is the issue that I have with this. If she had just said like, I was trolling and I messed up, that would be one thing I would be like, okay, which she did say, she said exactly that. I was trolling, it was wrong, period. The fact is that she is trying to defend and act like she just messaged people this funny, cute little home video. And this is some content that she had put on her Finsta. And she's like super apologetic in the DMs. And honestly, I think she's just scared, but it's just like, girl, how did you not think this was bad? This is really, really bad. Plus with her having already said that she knew she was trolling, it's just like, how did it not cross your mind that trolling in this type of way with that video was okay. The point of the situation is that she presented this as a video that was going to be like spicy, basically, and she was going to be maybe showing something of herself and it was her as a child. That is, it's disturbing. Like, I don't know why people would make some type of flirty joke of them as a child. That's just very wrong. And she's trying to act like she shares like fun throwback videos and wants to be super personal with her fans. It's like, no, that wasn't what you were doing. You were trying to get people to purchase a video of you as a child pulling your dress up by using a message that people would interpret as you are probably going to be showing some skin as an adult. And if you look at her other stuff on OnlyFans, it's not just like a thin stuff for her here. She posts steamy content on there. So she's out here acting like she was trying to be so personal with the fans in the OnlyFans DMs being like, oh my God, TBT, like unlock to see me as a child. And it was like a normal video or photo of her just like having a good time as a kid. Like, no, 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 no. Like the caption plus what was in the video makes the situation bad. It wasn't like you connecting by trying to share like a home video of you just, you know, playing with Play-Doh. This is a very different situation because of what you said and what was happening in the video. It wasn't like you were trying to reminisce with your fans and be close with them. Like this was Finsta or something. This was not that. And she knows what she was doing. Otherwise she would have posted it on her Instagram or her Twitter. If she thought it was so cute and harmless and fun, and something that her and her fans and her friends could all laugh about and bond over. I don't think she understood the implications of the actual video and how wrong that is for people to be seeing that and people to be buying content like that's not okay. There are a lot of people defending her saying that she just wants to use her OnlyFans as a Finsta. It's like, okay, yeah, you can use your OnlyFans as a Finsta. Nobody is criticizing her for having an OnlyFans. No one is criticizing her for using her OnlyFans as a Finsta, but this was not her using her OnlyFans as a Finsta. This was tricking people into buying video of a child wrong on a whole lot of levels. And she literally admitted that she was wrong for doing this. So there's like no use in defending the situation, I feel, because if she is admitting that it was wrong, then it's it's wrong. It's clear. There's no reason for her to be defended by them saying it's her video she can post whatever she wants it's her account she can post whatever she wants she can you know talk to her fans and say whatever she wants it's the point that this is something that could involve the law and people consider illegal it's just crazy that she was trying to make it seem like she was just messaging people this wholesome 
throwback video, this home video to be close to her fans when it's like, no, Gabby, that's not how you presented the situation. It's just one big yikes of a situation. But I definitely want to know what you guys think about this and everything that Gabby has had to say since the situation has been brought to light. I love you guys so much and I will talk to you in the next video. Bye guys. Bye.